Bullying Report, Troop 9081, Cadets, 2019, Take Action. Bullying. Gerund or present participle. Bullying. Verb. To seek to harm, intimidate, or coerce someone perceived as verb. Academic definition of bullying. Imbalance of power. Repeated over time. Intention to cause harm. Did you know? Bullying statistics. 28% of U.S. students from grades 6 to 12 experience bullying. 20% of U.S. students in grades 9 to 12 experience bullying. About 30% of young people admit to bullying others in surveys. 70.6% of young people have been seen bullying in their schools. 70.4% of staff have seen bullying, 40% witness it a, once a week or more. The bystanders intervene, bullying stops within 10 seconds, 57% of the time. 9% 9, 9 of students in grades 6 to 12 experienced cyberbullying. 55.2% of LGBTQ students experience cyberbullying. The most common types of bullying are verbal and social. Well, according to the Lutz study, the following percentages of middle school students have experienced this types of bullying. Name calling, 44.2%. Teasing, 43.3%. Spreading rumors or lies, 36.3%. Pushing or shouting, 32.4%. Hitting, slapping, or kicking, 29.2%, leaving out 28.5%, threatening 27.4%, stealing belongings 27.3%, sexual comments or gestures 23.7%, email or blogging 9.9%. I've learned that people will forget what you've said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you've made them feel. A quote from Maya Angelou. The rate of bullying. In, 20, in 2009 to 10, the rates of bullying were much higher, especially in middle school, than they were in 2000 to 15 to 16. But middle school bullying rates are still very high, higher than they were in any other, or in primary or high school. chart on bullying statistics. We are Troop 9081 on bullying. It hurts other people and it's wrong. Intimidation or scare tactics in order to get someone to do what you want is wrong. They only depress that person and often when the bullying is doing something, they are doing it because they feel bad about themselves. Never judge the bully and never judge the victim.